All right, this is number six. Let's see how this goes. I started off by drawing it as a net, and I also decided to color coordinate it to show the parts that are exactly the same dimension. So I've got green parts, blue parts, and yellow parts, and all of those are times two. So let's start off with the base and the lid. The base and the lid are both rectangles that are 42 by 35. So the 42 times 35. So the base and the lid both have an area of 1,470 centimeters square. 1,470 centimeters square. The blue sections are both 64 by 35 and that makes it 2,240 centimeters square. 2,240 centimeters square. The yellow sections are both 42 by 64, which is 2,688 square centimeters, 2,688 square centimeters. And our next step is to add all six of those um, areas together, and that will give us the surface area. Okay, so, so if I'm not wrong, the surface area of this um, net or that rectangular prism uh, is 12,796 centimeters, and those centimeters are squares. So, here's what's going to change. If we decide to increase the height by 1.5 centimeters, they told us that the height was the one that was 64. And I know that it goes up and down, but if it had been on its side and it told us the height was 64, that would be this direction. It's kind of like if you think about it, if you ordered a chair from Amazon and the chair was like two feet tall, if the chair showed up on its side, you would still call it two feet tall. It's just that you would measure it this way, right? So in this case, they actually told us what the height was and they said the height is 64 and they want us to increase that by 1.5 centimeters. So this is what the new figure would look like. So notice the bottom and the top aren't getting impacted at all. It's just each of the sides that used to be 64 are now 64 plus 1.5. And 64 plus 1.5 is 65.5. So now those yellow areas and those blue areas are going to have 65.5 as their height. Um, okay, so the yellow areas are 65.5 times 42. Those are the dimensions, and that's 2,751. And that includes this red part. And then the blue-purple parts are now 65.5 times 35, which is 2,292.5. 64 plus 35, just like that. Uh, 64 plus 1.5 times 35. Okay, so um, <laughs> So we've got the two yellow sides are 2751, two of them. The two blue sides are 2292, there's two of them. The green sides are 1470, and there's two of them. Okay, so let's add those up. One minor error, this was 2292.5, oops. Okay, so when we add all of those up, we end up with a grand total of 13,027. 13,027. And it's asking what the surface area of the box will increase by. So if we subtract the original from the new one, we should get that we'll increase by 231 centimeters squared. And now I'm going to do that thing where I type the answer just to make sure that I'm right. I'm not right.
do you know? Okay, let's check our work. This was the first guy. So, let me make sure I'm right. 42 by 35. 42 times 35 is 1,470. Feel good about the green parts. Let's look at the blue. The blue parts were 64 by 35. 2240, two of them. The yellow parts were 42 by 64. 2688, and there's two of them. 2688 plus 2280 plus 2240 plus 2240 plus 1470 plus 1470 is 12,796. Alright. 12,796. Okay, so now the yellow is increased by 1.5 centimeters. 65.5 tall by 42 wide is 2751. No, 65.5. 65.5 times 35 is 2292.5. Okay. So I'm right with all of those. So maybe I added wrong. Well, let's try that again. The yellows are 2751 plus 2751. The blues are 2292.5 plus 2292.5. And the green ones are 1470 plus 1470, which is 13,027 minus 12,796 is 231. Oh no. You know what I did in the answer thing? I typed 213. I just, oh. Okay. <laughs> I was right. Okay. So, I was right the first time. There's an increase of 231 centimeters square. I'm just going to push stop here. Um, I apologize.